Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making a login auth system and this is what it's gonna look like. So this is the sign in page. We're gonna have a forgot password page. We're gonna have the sign up. And down here, if you take a look at this, we also have terms and conditions. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this attributed text view with these links. Go to a web view. So, what we're gonna be using for this, we're gonna be using UI kit for the UI, which we're gonna do first. And then afterwards, I'm gonna split the tutorial into two different sections. In one section, we're gonna be using Firebase uh, for authorization. And, and for the other section, we're gonna be using Node.js. So if you've already used Firebase and you kind of understand it, then I would highly recommend trying the Node.js one because if you haven't got your first job and you're looking to get your first job, you're definitely gonna to need to know about HTTP requests. So even if you just download my Node code and then just implement the get requests and post requests yourself, then I think that'd be really beneficial. So if you're kind of newer, then maybe stick with Firebase or if you're ambitious or or have already done Firebase, I would try the Node.js. So in this video, we're gonna start out with the initial setup. So we're gonna create a new Xcode app. We're going to choose iOS app. So I'm gonna call mine Swift Login System Tutorial. You're gonna to wanna choose your team. You're going to wanna choose your bundle identifier. The interface, a storyboard, language is Swift. We don't need core data or tests. So hit next and click Create. So let's choose our display name. I'm just gonna call it login system. And you can choose, I'm just gonna do iOS 15, but you can choose to make it iOS 13. If you do that, you're gonna to need to come into this project uh, area here and change this as well. And that is all. So let's go into info, so targets. Uh, Swift login system info and we're gonna find every item here with the value main So there's this one main storyboard file base name And then you're gonna go into application scene manifest And open them all and then you'll see down here. We have another one with main storyboard name So then we're gonna delete our main storyboard and in scene delegate I recommend using code completion. We're just gonna do scene, UI scene delegate. So if you don't have this, search up my video on code completion. So then go into your view controller and we're gonna say in the view to load self dot view dot background color equals dot system blue select. And we're gonna select our simulator and run it. And if you ever get an error doing this, uh, you're gonna wanna hold Command Shift and K, and that is going to clean the build completely and it'll work then. So if we see the blue screen, we know it worked. So let's go into our project navigator and do Command Option N for a new folder. And we're gonna say supporting. And we're gonna move this view controller above it. We're gonna select everything from app delegate, scene delegate, assets to launch screen, and we're gonna just move it into the supporting project uh, folder. So we're gonna make a few different view controllers. So you can click Command N in your project navigator, and we can choose Coco Touch class, and we're gonna say down here, subclass of UI view controller. We're gonna get this controller, and we're gonna select our class name, and we're gonna call it forgot password controller, click next. Then we're gonna make another one. We're gonna say the next one is gonna be login controller with UI view controller still we're making, all these will be view controllers. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna say register controller. And then we're gonna do it one more time. And we're gonna say home home controller. So then let's just delete our view controller and organize this. Move all the files to the top of your project, okay? And what you could also do is you could just make a views folder. So command option N and we can call it views and we'll just put it above the supporting folder. So now that we have all of our controllers, we're gonna wanna go back into scene delegate because I don't think this will even run now because we deleted our view controller right here. So go into your scene delegate and the first page that we want to be on is login controller. 
and we want to put it in a navigation controller. So let's say let nav equals UI navigation controller and we want root view controller and we're actually going to go above that nav and we're going to say let VC equals home controller open and close braces and then we're going to pass the VC into the root view controller and then we're going to say nav dot modal presentation style equals dot full screen and then we're going to pass the nav to the root view controller and let's go into our home controller and let's say self dot view dot background equal background color equals dot system purple and we should get our purple home controller cool so we can just delete this okay so now that all that is completed we're going to move on to the next part of the video and that's going to be the ui setup in the next video so thanks for watching hit the subscribe if you want to see the next video and you can find the playlist for the whole tutorial in the description below